Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I'm a senior character artist. In this Tips and Tricks tutorial, we're going to take a look at polygroups in ZBrush. This is a very old uh, troll model that I use for a, a lot of classes. It's an easy model to understand. It's low poly. And uh, although it's about 15 years old, 15, 20 years old, uh, it still has enough to it that it makes it a fun model for students to work on. So we're going to go ahead and use this model as our base for the showing off the polygroups. Now if I hold down Shift F, I turn on my polyframes so you can see the wireframe of the model. And as you can see, it is set up for uh, edge loops in joint areas so that there's good deformations uh, in the shoulder areas, elbow, um, wrist, fingers, in the knees. But this is also a very simple model. It was done very quickly. I think I modeled it in about uh, two hours. But again, this is like 15, about 15 years ago, I think it was. Yeah, probably somewhere around there. But again, it's a good model to work from. I want to show you the UV layout for this particular model. The legs and arms and head were all part of the same model. Uh, this was all done on one texture sheet, as you can see. Uh, some of the teeth were actually uh, just repeats of other, because uh, I. Uh, you make one one set of teeth and then you can turn on and just reuse parts of it. The eye obviously was being reused on both eyes and this is the interior of the mouth. Now because uh, the way this was done all on one texture sheet obviously uh, you can't account for all the finer details but of course with this texture being at a 2048 size uh, you'd still get a lot of detail with it. I think if I were to redo this model now, I'd probably have just everything that's the head on one mesh uh, or one UV layout and then the body, everything that's the body on the other one. But for, for our purposes, this works great because this shows us that this is one uh, continu continuous mesh. So in ZBrush, if I go to our, on the right hand side, if I just, I'm left clicking and just dragging this, if I go to our poly groups and go auto groups with UV, it only sees a couple different polygroups insofar as the body and the head and the arms are all one polygroup. Now if you zoom in, if I zoom in for you, um, you can see the head or the mouth, interior of the mouth and the teeth are all separate and the eyes are separate because they're in fact separate here. The teeth are all separate, the mouth is separate, the eye is separate. So it takes into account our UV islands with that. So it'll actually create uh, those particular polygroups separately from the body itself. I can then control shift and click on just the body and you see that hides everything. Or I can control shift and drag a rectangle in the background to invert that. So that's what, that's what the, everything looks like so far. Now just for simplicity purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and group visible that groups everything that was separate is now in one polygroup. If I control click and just dot in the background, it brings back our mesh. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm in perspective. I'm going to hit P, and you can see I no longer have depth. It's it's all just a flat. It becomes uh, orthogonal basically. What I want to look at doing is we're going to separate out the legs and the arms so that we can have separate polygroups for this particular model so we can turn around and detail things as we need to. If I hit X, that's symmetry, that turns it on. And in order to be able to, uh, we're gonna use a couple different ways. We're gonna do control shift and if you drag a rectangle, like say over here, it, it, it selects out just these particular polygons that I had highlighted and hides the rest. Doesn't mean they're deleted or anything, they're still there. If I control click and just dot in the background, it brings everything back. So we're going to use a combination of just roping and dragging like that. And then we're going to go to visibility and we're going to click this button here, grow. Okay. As you can see, I can grow. I can just keep pushing grow and it'll keep growing as far as I need. Now for this particular point, I want to make sure I've gone up to the edge loops for the thighs. So I do want to make sure I keep those, but I obviously don't want this uh, middle joint area. So I'm going to hold down Control Shift and Alt and 
now when I create a rectangle, it's red. That means it's taking these out. So you can see it just hid them. Okay. I'm going to control shift click again with the alt. I'm just going to do it on one side. If I do it on one side, of course, we have symmetry. It goes on the other. Okay. And as you can see, I now have the legs completely paired out. If I go ahead and click the group visibles and now control shift and dot in the background, as you can see, I now have my legs are now a separate polygroup. Of course, uh, for this to work correctly, we need to control shift and click on the legs. And what we really want to do now is separate these two legs. And the easiest way to do that is I'm going to take off symmetry. So I hit X. As you can see, I just have one red dot on one side. And I'm going to control shift and click and drag around this entire leg. It's green, so we know we're good. Okay, I'm going to now do a group visible on that. If I control shift dot in the background, there we go. Both legs are now separated. I can grab each one of them. See? And I can detail them as I'd need to if, uh, as I subdivide the model up. Okay? Let's go ahead and look to, in fact, what we could do, we can look to uh, take out just the head. So let's do control shift click on just the uh, base mesh. All right, we're going to do this from the side view. I'm just going to do a control shift and I'm going to click or create a selection. Okay. And let's go ahead and using our visibility, we're going to do the grow a little bit. And one more time, I want to get behind the ears to make sure it's there. There we go. And I'm going to control shift alt on areas of the neck. There we go. And I'm control shift alt on that. It actually brought back some of the mouth parts. So I'm just going to control shift. Oops. Control shift click on the mouth to hide that. There we go. Control shift alt. And we're going to grab these back here. Control shift alt. Control shift alt. And we'll do one more control shift alt. Okay, so there's the head. We're going to go for a group visible. If you if it didn't change enough color, I mean it really did. But if it didn't change enough, and you think you're you're not sure that it actually did do it, you can just hit group visible again, and it'll give you another color. Control shift dot in the background. So there we go. Our head is now separated. Let's go ahead and, and control shift on the body itself. And again, let's go ahead for our control shift. And we're just going to start grabbing the arm. And yeah, there we go. And let's go ahead and start growing that. Oops, evidently I had a section in here. So I'm going to control shift alt to get rid of all of that. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and continue to grow. Obviously, I have a vertice or something selected there, but that's okay. I'm just going to grow one more time. I'll control shift click all of this. All right. Now we want to follow the edge loop for this. Now as you can see, we've got an edge loop going here that runs around, but we're missing a couple polygons here, but I actually want to get rid of this one edge here. So control shift alt and we'll just click and drag. Control shift alt. Control shift alt. Okay, let's take a quick look. Yeah, that's both the arms. We'll go ahead and do a group visible. And again, if I do control shift, you can now see everything comes back. The arms now are one group, however, we will, but we want to do something like we did with the legs. We want them to be their own separate group. So we're going to do control shift, click on the arms. I'm going to turn off symmetry and then control shift and drag a rectangle. So it's green on one arm. Do a group visible and then control shift dot in the background. And there you go. The entire model is set up as the arms are now their own separate polygroup. If I click on one, I get just one. Control click in the background. Control shift click on this arm. Control shift dot in the background. Let's do the body. Control shift on the body. We have just the body in. So there you go. It's simple. It's quick. 
and you don't need to set those up ahead of time. Uh, that's the real beauty of it. Uh, you can create the polygroups as you need to on, on any model, and this could have been a hard surface model or uh, a higher polygon model. Just get ready to use the grow and shrink as you need it. It's underneath the visibility tab, and you should have no problem creating the polygroups as you need them. Anyway, this has been Stephen G. Wells for 3dmotive.com, and hope you've had fun.